Hey guys, what's up? My name is Gabe and this is Games with Gabe. If you recall from the last tutorial, we just got to a point where we have a couple like a scene manager and a key listener and a mouse listener so we can detect key presses, mouse presses, just so we're getting the basic stuff out of the way so that we can actually start coding this thing. And this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be setting up the simple double buffering so that we can actually start drawing to the screen and everything. And then uh, we should be able to start drawing things, which means we could probably start importing some sprites and messing around with that and everything. Okay, so first of all, let's go into our window class. And then we need to add another method inside of here. So we will expand this. Keeps making that small for some reason. Weird. <laughs> okay. We'll say public void draw, and this will be our draw method. Graphics 2D G2. And this will just be what we'll use to draw. And I'm going to import this real quick. So we'll hit Alt Enter there. And then we'll have one more helper method called public void render off screen. And this will take a graphics object and so this will be used to sort of render the image off screen and then we'll draw that off screen image back onto this so we're gonna need one more little variable here and we will call this our image so we're gonna say image uh, double buffer image and this is basically gonna be the image that we will use to uh, draw things onto and then we'll draw that whole image at once in one draw call onto the actual window So inside of our draw method what we're going to do first is we're going to say if the double buffer image is null Which means we need to draw it or we need to uh, create it. We will say double buffer image equals create image and then We'll just say get width which gives us the width of this screen and then we'll say get height which gives us the height of the screen. And then we'll say double buffer image equals, or we'll say double buffer, which is gonna be the actual graphics. So let's go real quick and then add one more private member up here. Private graphics, double buffer graphics. And so this will be the graphics handle on this image. And we will say that this is equal to the double buffer image dot get graphics okay so with those two things out of the way now we can say render off screen so we're going to render to this double buffer image and we will say the double buffer and this is going to give us an error what's it saying it says cannot resolve symbol double buffer so double buffer graphics will render that off the screen Okay, and then what we're going to do after that is we now have the image. So we'll just say G dot draw image, double buffer image, and then we'll say zero, zero. We want it in the top left corner of the screen. Then we'll say get width and get height, which gives us the width and the height of the screen. And of course, by G, I mean the double or actually not the double buffer graphics, but this is our actual graphics. So we'll say get graphics, which should give us the graphics of this whole thing. And then we actually want this is saying this is saying it needs an int get width get height um and then we actually need null here there we go because it just needs an image observer which is null so put that in and then you should be good then render off screen what this is going to do is it's basically just going to call uh the draw method on our uh current scene so literally we'll just say graphics 2d g2 equals graphics 2d g and then we will say current scene dot draw g2 and that should draw whatever is being drawn in our current scene to the screen so right at, in our update method after we update the scene we want to draw whatever we've updated so then we'll say update get graphics and let's actually make this just a graphics object we'll call that g and then down here we can just change this to g there we go and then that should be good Let's go real quick into our current scene, which is level editor scene, into our draw method and just draw something to make sure that it is working right. So we'll say g2.setColor and we'll say color.blue. Then we'll say g2.fill rect and then we'll say zero, zero, and then get width. Well, we don't have width or height. So now would be a good time to create a constants class, okay? So this is something, and this may be annoying to you guys, but this is actually super helpful and really makes it nice whenever you're tweaking gameplay items and everything. So we'll just create a new class called constants. 
uh, you can just go into here and tweak a few variables and it tweaks all the gameplay which is amazing when you're changing things and trying to get it just right okay so we'll say public static final int screen width equals 1280 public static final int screen height equals 720 there we go and then public static final int do we need anything else screen width screen height uh we'll do a string screen title equals geometry dash i think that should be good let's go to our window class now real quick and we will switch this instead of doing this we'll say constants dot screen width right here we'll say constants dot screen height and then right here we'll say constants dot screen title so that should set all that up properly and then we can go back into our level editor scene and then right here we're trying to fill the whole screen with blue so we'll say zero zero and then constants dot screen width and constants dot screen height so that should fill the whole screen with blue let's run this and see what we get and sure enough we get the whole screen filled with blue so everything is working up perfectly um this about wraps it up for this tutorial actually because we have the double buffer graphics working good and everything what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial is we're actually going to be starting to set up uh, the game object so we need this entity component system i'll go into a little bit of detail on what exactly that is how it works and then we'll code it up and actually make it work and then once we have that in place we can actually start loading in sprite sheets and everything by making custom game objects with these components and everything so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.